Hello all, I am Bhaskar working as Associate Professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication. Today you are in Linear Integrated Circuits Lab and we will be looking at the BJT Mixer. So the basic definition of a BJT Mixer is heterodyning. So probably all of us know what is heterodyning. Heterodyning is basically mixing of two input signals. And normally heterodyning also means that you are trying to bring out a very large frequency value to a very small frequency value. So let's assume F1 value is equal to 1 kilohertz which is from the local oscillator and F2 value is 1 megahertz. So I want to bring down this 1 megahertz signal which is coming from the transmitter side at the receiver to a smaller value so as to aid the design. So in such cases, I bring in this mixer which reduces the frequency value from 1 megahertz to a very small value depending on what is the frequency of the local oscillator. So my frequency value in this example wherein F1 is equal to 1 kilo and F2 is equal to 1 megahertz has come down to F1 difference F2 which is 1 mega minus 1 kilohertz. So that's the kind of the advantage that I basically get from the BJT mixers. So you can see the basic concept of BJD mixer wherein one of the input is from the local oscillator and other input is from the RF input signal and that is being given to the BJD mixer. So the output is taken and fed to the filter which filters out the higher frequency components and gives out a very small frequency signal which will be further processed in the communication system. And this example tells us what BJT mixer will do. F1 and F2 are the two input signals which are coming from local oscillator and the RF signal and the output will be F1 plus F2 and F1 minus F2. So apart from these two components, we also get many more different components which are harmonic combinations of F1 and F2. The final output waveform what I get will look like this where input 1 is from the local oscillator let's say and input 2 is from the RF signal. The final output will have the combination of all the frequency components which are harmonic combinations of F1 and F2. To. Our aim is to design the BJD frequency mixer and to see the final value that I get from this experiment. This is the circuit diagram of the BJD mixer wherein it basically uses a common emitter configuration amplifier which has used voltage divider passing circuit. The inputs are connected with one at the base and other one at the emitter terminal. So I'm basically using a high frequency signal at the base terminal and a low frequency signal at the emitter terminal. So one of the input frequency which I'll be using in this experiment will be 10 kilohertz and the other signal which I'll be using is 1 kilohertz. So we all know what basically is a BJT mixer. The output will be either a sum or a difference of the two input frequencies. So as the inputs are 10 kilohertz and 1 kilohertz, the output will be 10 difference 1 or 10 plus 1. So it will be either 9 kilohertz or 1 kilohertz. So let us come to the experiment. Now we'll see how to conduct the experiment of BJD mixer. This is a circuit diagram. So to rig up the circuit diagram, initially I'll be connecting the BJD transistor in this way. This is the emitter terminal, this is the base terminal and this is the collector terminal. So collector terminal will be given to the filter part. The base terminal is connected here. At the base terminal, two resistors are there as you can see in the circuit diagram. One of the transistor resistance value is 47K which is this one and the other resistance value is 10 kilo ohms which is right here. So once that is done, we will come to the emitter terminal that is the blue one where one of the terminal of the resistance 560 ohms is connected to the emitter terminal and the other terminal will go to the ground point. And there is one more connection that you have to do here which is the capacitor connected here which is 0.1 microfarad. To this capacitor one of the input signal will come and coming to the base terminal there is a capacitor 0.1 microfarad connected to which other input signal will go. Finally at the collector you can see the combination of L and C connected which is the filter combination. This is where the filter is placed and we have designed filter in such a way that it gives an appropriate output. So this is the basic connection that you have to do in conducting this experiment. So once this connection is done, next thing will be to switch on the supply and set the input voltage to 12 volts which is the DC voltage required for the transistor to operate in the proper passing condition. So once this supply is set, next thing will be to switch on the signal generator 1 and signal generator 2. So once these two signal generators are switched on, next thing is to set the input frequency to 1 kilohertz which is from the first signal generator and 10 kilohertz which is in the second signal generator. So once that is done, switch on the output of both so that both the signal will get into the BJT circuit. So once all these things are done, finally we are at the point where we can take the readings of uh, this particular experiment and we'll have to just look at the CRO and observe the waveform what I get. The CRO should show me a sine wave and once you measure the frequency of it, we should be getting a frequency which is the difference of these two. 1 kilohertz and 10 kilohertz which is nothing but 9 kilohertz. The reason why we are saying that I should be getting a difference value here is the output what I get from the BJD mixer, I have designed a filter there in such a way that it is going to give me a difference value and that's the reason why I say that the output what I get on the CRO should read the frequency as 9 kilohertz. So when you observe this reading here, how do you basically take the reading 
on the CRO. What you have to do is, you'll have to bring the beginning point of any of the cycle to this reference point and just read one cycle of the waveform. So in my case, right now, I'm getting the time period of this as 1.2 divisions multiplied by the time scale value is 0.1 millisecond. So I'm getting the total time period here as 1.2 into 0.1 milli, which is equal to 0.12 milliseconds. So this becomes one cycle period. The frequency now will be 1 over T, which is equal to F, and I'm getting the calculation as 8.33 kilohertz. The expected viber questions in this experiment are like what is a BJT mixer, what are the applications of BJT mixer and for example if the input signals are 100 kilohertz and 90 kilohertz, what is the output of a BJT mixer? Thank you.